nice day, it's a nice dry day, just have our alternative remembrance ceremony, which is very encouraging. Have you been a peace pledge along? Have you been with the movement? I've been the PP, with the PPU for oh, some decades, shall we say. I mean, I, I, I evolved my belief system into being a pacifist when I was still a student, I suppose, when a lot of people's ideas gel and crystallise, and um, I ended up, amongst my various isms, being a pacifist um, in my student days. I've never really counted on any difficulties in... Oh, of course you can count on difficulties. I mean, um, being a pacifist is a fairly minority and extremist position in some ways, and um, particularly at Remembrance time, it's seen as being quite controversial. Um, because even though for those of us who are pacifists, the orthodox remembrance ceremonies are very controversial, those of us who take a rather different view of the world are seen as, well, you can imagine all the criticisms we get, and, um, but then again, you have to be prepared to cope with that. Could I ask, do the British Legion see it more as a purely military um, commemoration? Well, the official British Legion line is that they're remember they, they see themselves as the custodians of remembrance they've taken it over mm. they didn't have the same role perhaps after the first world war but over the years they've evolved into seeing it as their event and they're very explicit on their own website that it's an event to to remember specifically the british and maybe the allied military dead nobody else from other sides no civilians no refugees that, they're explicitly are. not part mm. of the official remembrance ceremony as far as the Legion is concerned. Also, I mean, the Legion, they, they have recruitment stalls at their poppy fundraising events. They're sponsored by arms companies. They are part they are part of the sort of militarist propaganda scheme these days, the British Legion, unfortunately. 